Howdy y'all, this might be mixed a little bit high. I apologize, I've been strange, strange days indeed. I wasn't even gonna make this video, but uh, I lost a, a subscriber yesterday. I was gonna take the day off, but if I lose subscribers, I gotta get more back. So hi, how you guys doing? Let's do things different. Let's do things like Bob Ross. What are the colors we're using in the palette today? Well, let's see, we're going to use a uh, uh, B. B minor, B minor, a D and a G, and then a D and an E. Is that the whole thing? I'm pretty sure, yeah. So get that B minor, D, G, the D, the the, the B minor, the D, and the G are the ones you're gonna wanna uh, remember the most. And uh, if you do it like kind of like um. Like you're looking in a dictionary and you want to put a sentence together, then you go. I can't believe the news today. You see? Close my eyes and make it go away. Why can't I remember words? Close my eyes and make it go away. Make it go away. How long? How long must we sing this song? How long? How long? It's too long. It can be as long to you now. Well, I guess since I can't remember the words, let's go to the verse that I really like. Yeah. And it's true love. And it's true love. When fact is fiction and to be reality. We sing the song. How long? How long? How long? How long? It's too long. And the only reason I'm changing the, this stuff up here is because um, when I play the uh, D chord up here uh, for the for the picking, it just it's easier. And then for the for the strumming part, it's it's, it's more fun to do it the other way. <laughs> uh, I think it sounds better that way too. You can control the mute a little bit better. <laughs> So don't get scared because I, I I started switching. It's all exactly the same thing. I just took that D chord and put it in a different place because it just sounds better. Anyways, that's it. But uh, I, I did have a couple of things to say. If y'all are still here with me and you do want to listen, and um, I don't know if the reason I lost the subscriber was because of the guitar that was behind me. That was for... Uh, Ricky Medlock's birthday because Medlock is in Skinner and that is my Skinner guitar and yeah there is a confederate flag that is in the background on it because that's if you really want to know the story when Leonard Skinner first started touring they had never been out of the United States when you go to England the Great Britain everybody's a Yankee that ain't good if you're from the south because they were mad 
The record company then said, cha-ching, they said, we have a gimmick for you and you won't have to worry about people wondering where you're from anymore. We're going to put a big ass Confederate flag behind you and that's going to be your, 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 your sign that you are, you're right, you're not from, you're not a Yankee, you're from the South. And they were just mad. They were like, guys, everybody got to stop calling us Yankees. We ain't Yankees. Stop, man. So they're like, okay, fine. That's the, if they're, if they stop calling us Yankees, fine, put the flag back there. It never had anything to do with race for them. It all had to do with the global kind of thing. And they had never been anywhere. And it's like, stop calling us something we're not. And that was just, that really was a global thing. That really was, it was something specific to the United States that was taken for the world so that they would know what specific part of the United States they were from. That's it. That's all. Simply, that's it. And if you really must know, people from the South don't like me because I'm from the North and we won the war. And yeah, because we're not dumbasses. Oh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? Okay, people from the South might hate me also because, well, they hate me because of my values and it goes the other way too. It's just like, so, you know, whatever. Anyways, if that's why I lost the subscriber, I apologize. And, you know, it's gone now and I will be more sensitive to that in the future. It, for me, is only a reminder of the band that has saved my life, has guided my life, has been soulless, has been there in happiness, in sadness, in almost death in just everything that band has been the entire world for me and it's just a symbol of for me what has guided me through life and that's all that's all it is and i apologize if i if i offended anyone but to me it has absolutely nothing to do with race at all it's it's just a reminder of something that is extremely good in my life. That's all. And when you have almost died a couple of times, man, maybe more than a couple of times, um, you kind of just like reminders of things that are good in your life. That's all. And uh, yeah, man. Uh, Oh, I also wanted to respond to uh, other comments because uh, there was somebody that said that uh, they don't like John Lennon much, but uh, they enjoyed my video. And I have to say thank you very much. I also have to say that uh, I should have written your name down because um, I've been like, should I respond, you know, on, on, on in typing or should I try and respond here? I think I'm going to try and respond here. And it would be nice if I could remember people's names or at least write them down so I could reference it. And dude, I'm sorry. I apologize. Who, who, whoever made that comment, thank you very much. That is very cool because um, personally, I like all kinds of music and I do have like lines that I draw that I will, I listen to everything. Um, I have things that I would rather listen to than other things. So it's not really a line that I won't listen to things. It's more of a line where, hey, let's stop here because I'd rather listen to that. Um, so yeah, man, thank you. Because um, music for an open mind is definitely is something that is something I've always thought was kind of a requirement to making it. You know, you have to be open to all sorts of different kinds of sounds and music. And um, Paul Simon, I love him when he started going all over the world, getting different sounds, you know, that was just amazing. And, and he, he did it so well. And, uh, and I've been ranting for a long time, so I should probably stop. But please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I am wanting to give away a guitar um, at a thousand. Uh, the, and I'll, I'll, I can go on a little bit more here about the thousand. The thousand really is uh, uh, something for hope for me because if you get a thousand subscribers and you get enough views, you could get some money out of this stuff from YouTube. And I'm scared. I'm scared as hell, man. I don't know where my life is going. I'm pretty sure I cannot go back to actually working. I don't know how I'm going to afford living. Um, right now I'm okay, but in the future things will probably change. So I need to address that. And that is one small way of me trying to do that, which is why that magic number of a thousand is there. Um, so if y'all could help me out get into that, that would be great because there is a possibility. Yes. Just from you guys subscribing, 
I could make some money. And I know that's crazy, but um, you know, if it works, it works. So I, I that's that's why I have that magic number there because it's um, something like uh, an ROI, uh, return on investment, and um, and my investment is is trying to get myself better. My investment is trying to to get things so that they sound good, so that you guys like hearing them instead of you guys coming here for oh little cancer boy, you know. Um, I would rather not do that. I would rather have you guys coming here for enjoyment than than um, hey, how's that cancer kid doing these days, you know. Um, that would be a better goal for me than for having you guys come here. I mean, if it works, it works to get you to come here and see me have these breakdowns. But um, I would rather have you coming here for enjoyment, for happiness instead of of my pain and, and all that. Um, and But if I'm helping people with my pain too, that's awesome. So I'm going to end this here because I think I'm rambling now and just being in, incoherent. And uh, I don't even know if this is even recording anymore. Wow, hold on a second here, because, um, yeah, I think I have to sign in again. And I'm hoping you guys are still here, because that would kind of suck doing all this and not having it here. But anyways, if it is still here, it looks like it is. Um, I hope you all are having a great day. Always look up. Um, he's there for you. Um, and have a great Sunday. I'll see you then. God's day. Peace.